How's it going everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use a VPN on a Mac device, and then we're going to be talking about some of the best VPNs for Mac, in case you don't already have one, and are looking for some secure and reliable options. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, now I'll be using these three VPNs right here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as an example to show you how things work, and they're also going to be the best options for Mac, which I'll be talking about a bit later in the video, so stay tuned. But generally speaking, once you figure out which VPN to go for, you're going to have to go to their website, create an account, activate a subscription, and then download their application. And then once the app is downloaded, all you have to do is launch the app and go through the simple installer steps until the app is fully set up on your device. Now this should be universal with most VPNs out there, especially if you go with one of these three, since their setup process is very simple and straightforward. Okay, now that the app is set up and good to go, let me show you how to use a VPN based on the activity you're going for. So let's start with the basic and most common use of a VPN, and that would be to secure your data and activity while working online. To do that, you're going to have to connect to a VPN server first, and if you're using any of these three, there's a cool feature that they have that would allow you to connect automatically to the best possible VPN server for you based on speed, latency, and distance from you. To give you an example, here with ExpressVPN, it's going to be called Smart Location, and all you got to do is click on it, and it will immediately connect you to that VPN server. Oh, and by the way, as you saw a second earlier, it took ExpressVPN quite literally a second to connect to the VPN server, and that's one of the best things about Express. It's very high in performance, and both long launches and connects to servers almost instantly. Okay, now you might be wondering what correlates connecting to a VPN server to protect your online privacy and security. Well, by connecting to a VPN server, all the traffic leaving your device, including all your online activity and data, will become encrypted so no one on your network, not even your ISP or government, will be able to figure out what you're doing online. Basically, everything they see is just a bunch of jumbled letters or words. That said, despite the fact that a VPN's main objective is to protect your online privacy and security, not all of them can be trusted with this task, especially if they're free or cheap. And that's because in order to bring in a buck, some VPNs would store user data and sell that to third-party advertisers and governments. And so you're going to need a VPN server with a strict no logs policy, which is why I recommend these three VPNs, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Not only do they have strict no logs policies, but their policies have also been audited several times by independent auditing firms like PwC, Cure53, and Deloitte. So instead of hoping that they live up to their policies, like with most other VPNs, you know that Express, Nord, and Surfshark do uphold theirs. Besides that, these three VPNs also have a very important feature called the kill switch. And what that does is that it immediately severs your internet connection the second you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. By doing so, none of your activity or data would be leaked to your ISP or government in a moment of vulnerability. Now this feature is on by default, but you can also make sure it's on in the connection settings of these VPNs. For example, with ExpressVPN, click on the options icon on the top left, click on options, and in the general page, you'll find the kill switch, which is called network lock over here. And this should be more or less the same way to access the kill switch with Nord and Surfshark as well. However, with NordVPN, you also get an app kill switch that would terminate selected apps when you accidentally disconnect from the VPN instead of completely shutting down your internet connection, which makes things a whole lot easier and more efficient. Now, another thing you might want to consider doing with your VPN is changing the protocol to your VPN's fastest performing option. By doing this, you'd be encrypting your data at a faster rate, therefore bettering your overall connection speed. With these VPNs, for example, the fastest performing option for ExpressVPN is going to be Lightway UDP over here, with Nord, that's going to be Nordlynx, and with Surfshark, that's going to be the WireGuard protocol. So if you want the most optimal speed with your VPN, I recommend setting your protocols to these. But if you face any issues, you can always fall back to the auto option and have the VPN choose the most optimal protocol for you based on the server you're trying to connect to. Okay, so aside from security, you can also use a VPN to gain access to content that's not available in your region by geo-spoofing your location to where it actually is available. This applies to all streaming services, games, and websites, or platforms that are exclusive to a specific region. But one thing to note here is that recently, these sorts of websites have started using a advanced firewalls that prevent any VPN encrypted traffic from accessing the platform. So you're going to need VPNs with obfuscated servers, which make your encrypted connection look like completely normal internet traffic. And this way you'd easily get past such firewalls. And this is yet another reason why I would recommend these three, because not only do they have obfuscated servers that make accessing such content very easy to do, they also have servers in over 100 countries each, which would help you access any streaming services from around the world, as well as all its libraries. To give you an example, right now I'm connected to an ExpressVPN server located in France, so my Netflix library is that of France as well. And if we try to look for Slam Dunk, for example, you won't find it at all in the French Netflix library. So to fix this, we're going to look up Slam Dunk on a site called Unogs over here, which shows us the list of countries the show is available in. So from these, we're going to pick the United States, go to ExpressVPN, click on the options icon on the top left, 
Type USA in the search bar and connect to any of the servers that pop up. And now that we're connected, we're gonna go back to Netflix, give it a quick refresh, and then look for Slam Dunk again. And there it is. We now have access to a show that was not available to us by simply geo-spoofing our location to where it is available. Plain and simple. Now, another thing that you can use a VPN for is actually gaming whenever you're facing ping spikes or if your ISP is throttling your connection. The throttling can be easily solved by connecting to a VPN server because your ISP would have no idea what you're doing online as your traffic is fully encrypted. But there are also situations where your ISP routes your internet connection through cheaper and longer routes rather than directly to your VPN server. And this slows down your connection a lot. There are instances where I noticed my ping going to a thousand in League of Legends. And after inspecting my connection, I noticed that my ISP, for some reason, routed my connection from Europe to New York and then back to Europe where the game server is located. So to fix this, all you gotta do is connect to a VPN server where your game server is located. And by doing so, you'll be routing your data in a beeline straight to and from the VPN game server instead of that long and convoluted route. So this is pretty much all you need to know to start using a VPN on your Mac device, be it for streaming, gaming, or protecting your online activity and personal data. And the best VPNs for any of these activities are going to be undoubtedly these three, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. That being said, each of them brings something unique to the table in terms of features. So let me briefly go over them to help you pick the one that works best for you. But if you want to know all the details about one or more of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. Okay, so starting with ExpressVPN, this is going to be the best overall and fastest performing option that fits just about most VPN users. As I showed you earlier, it's extremely fast when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers, as well as booting up as opposed to most other VPNs that take time to do these tasks. Besides that, if you're a privacy conscious person, then ExpressVPN is undoubtedly the best there is, because on top of the security audits we talked about earlier, Express also also has gone through a real life stress test where one of their servers was seized by the Turkish government as part of an ongoing investigation, only for them to find absolutely nothing on that server. And that's a next level way of proving that you do uphold your policies. Features wise, Express has all the essential features such as the kill switch, as well as the threat manager feature which blocks ads, trackers, cookies, and malware ridden websites. And you can also use it as a mini parental control tool. And so if you want the fastest, easiest to use, and best performing option, I say go with Express. As for NordVPN, this is going to be the fastest option in terms of connection speed, and it's also going to be the best choice if you're looking for a VPN that offers a lot of bonus features. For example, it has the app kill switch I showed you earlier, threat protection which acts as a mini antivirus, an easy way to change your DNS through the settings, as well as a bunch of specialty servers that are going to be useful in a lot of different situations. And so if you're looking for the most value in terms of bonus features, I highly recommend Nord. And lastly, Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the best possible price without sacrificing security or important features. But what's really cool about Surfshark is the fact that you can connect an unlimited number of devices with one subscription, so you can share it around with as many friends and family members as you like. And so these are the best VPNs to use for Mac devices. They're fast, secure, they can access streaming services easily, and they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive them for 30 days and claim a refund if you're not satisfied with them for any reason whatsoever. And that's it for today's video. Besides that, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer all of them. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.